We're at the Let's Make Robots booth at World Maker Fair 11, and Andrew, you've got this uh, neat little line-following robot in your hand, so tell us a little bit about it. Sure. So, uh, this is a spurt bot. Spurt is an, a concept that was from the University of Rostock in Germany. It stands for School Projects Using Robot Technology, and it's a very simple line follower. It's got almost no circuitry. It has one reflective IR sensor one resistor so you don't blow your reflective IR sensor up, okay. and one transistor, and that's all the electronics it needs. Huh. One, uh, the left wheel just spins continuously, and the right doesn't spin when it's on black, and spins fast when it's on white, so it always turns towards the line. Okay. You want to see a little video of it in operation? Oh, absolutely. Let's, uh, oh, and a little nice little switch. So the build for this is incredibly simple. It is. Um, so this is a, like a skate bearing? Yep, that's a bearing from an inline skate, which I, uh, Acquired from uh, Craigslist. Yeah, a uh, couple of little um, DC motors. Those are pretty common motors. Yep, common motors. This whole stick shouldn't be too hard to find. Nope, a piece of wooden dowel, yeah. battery that holder. Could be a pencil, probably, too. Probably as long as about 5 sixteenths of an okay. inch. And uh, in quantities, the parts cost about 8 bucks. Maybe you're going to pay 10 12 bucks if you're building one or two. Okay. Want to see it go? Oh, yeah. All right. So if we're going around the inside, you can see how he's hunting and seeking as he goes through. And then if he goes around the outside, you'll see, of course, he has to be turning the other, facing the other way. So it'll want to turn itself around. It always wants to turn left. Okay. It follows the line. And I, I purposely didn't include a power switch. I wanted to keep it as cheap and simple as possible so we could do projects for kids. That's great. And where can people find out more about this project? So you can go to letsmakerobots.com and search for SpurtBot, S-P-U-R-T-B-O-T. Or right now we have to be featured on Instructables.com. Last I checked it there, so ago, it was right on the front page. All right, well, thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you.